Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Odo. He's a three-year-old male Newfoundland and he was presented with a history of weight loss and also of a suspected kidney infection. Uh, he had been seen at his regular veterinarian and there was some concern that he had some issues with his kidney and so he was referred to us to investigate that. Uh, Odo is a lovely, big, friendly Newfoundland dog and we started off by doing some blood work on him and also doing an abdominal ultrasound. The abdominal ultrasound showed that his left kidney was severely enlarged. It was about 12 centimeters in size and a dog of his size would typically have a kidney that would be almost half that size and was massively dilated with fluid and then the ureter was also massively dilated to the level of the bladder. So the diagnosis based on the ultrasound was a suspected hydronephrosis with a suspected hydroneureter and we know that dogs that have this will often have other congenital abnormalities such as ectopic ureters. So we then had to plan what we were going to do with the Odo. We suspected that the kidney was infected as well and that might have been why he had lost weight. We suspected there was probably pain and discomfort and we needed to come up with a, uh, a diagnostic plan in terms of how we would get all the information that we needed um, to give him the most appropriate treatment. We ended up doing uh, two procedures. The first one was we did a CT of his abdomen with contrast and the idea of that, of that was to confirm where the ureters were implanting in the bladder. We wanted to see whether he had um, ectopic ureters because those would need to be corrected and put back into the correct place otherwise he would continue to have issues. The contrast CT showed that his right kidney and right ureter appeared normal and the right ureter appeared to be implanting in the correct location. The left ureter also appeared to be implanting in the correct location but it was severely dilated and we suspected that there could either be a physical or a functional obstruction in that region. We then planned to uh, try and surgically correct it and after some discussion we decided that the most appropriate way to repair it would be to remove the left kidney and the left ureter. It was unlikely to have any normal function. Um, it was severely damaged by the back pressure and the hydronephrosis. We suspected it was infected as well. And the right kidney was completely normal and because you can live a very healthy, happy life with only one kidney, we felt we could sacrifice the left kidney and that would provide a better quality of life for Odo. Uh, we weren't um, completely certain from the CT because it does have some limitations whether there couldn't be some additional abnormal communications or ad additional ectopic ureters or openings that could compromise the outcome. So we decided to do endoscopy. Um, so we decided to do endoscopy of his urethra and of the neck of his bladder. We used a a very small diameter video endoscope um, and we were able to pass that endoscope up his urethra all the way to the level of his bladder. We were able to exclude um, additional ectopic ureters and show that the anatomy was at least uh, normal from an endoscopic perspective. Having established that Odo then went to a theater and he had his uh, left kidney and ureter removed and they were submitted to uh, pathology and um, it was found that he had a confirmed that he had a severe hydronephrosis and that that kidney in fact was infected. Um, Odo has since uh, made a fairly unremarkable recovery and we anticipate that Odo should enjoy a normal quality of life. Um, we plan to continue to assess him we will continue to assess the right kidney and the right ureter for a few months. 